Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Frankie B. And um, boy, I, I just wanna say, um, uh, I'd like to just thank everybody um, for coming by the uh, Alterna auction um, this past Saturday. And um, man, I, I can't believe the enthusiasm that people brought with them and the fact that they picked up some um, some amazing artwork. It also was kind of like an eye opener for me that it looks like a lot of you are uh, interested in the um, like pre-done artwork that I've, you know, stuff that, stuff that I've done, like for, say like for the Mighty Mascots and stuff like that. I was always kind of on the fence on whether or not people would really dig that, you know? But um, one of the pieces that I did, uh, the cereal box illustration is, is heading off. It's going to be heading off to a, a new forever home. And, and that's good. You know, I'm, I'm really trying to get to that place in my life where I can sort of let go of some of this artwork um, that I have. I've done a lot of artwork. I just want to say that a lot of artwork. And so, um, you know, it's, it's kind of good to kind of let go of stuff um, and so that other people um, can, you know, enjoy it as a collector myself that thing that's a tough thing i'm always at at war with the collector in me because um i i too i love collecting artwork i love collecting figures and stuff like that and uh you know it's just it's a tough it's that that, that battle of just like i gotta let it go i gotta let it go let somebody else enjoy it and appreciate it and stuff like that but with that said um right now i am actually fulfilling the second half of what the bid was uh, for, excuse me, of what um, Matthew, I'll just go by his first name, Matthew, who bid it on the card set. And here's a card set right here. Um, this was the uh, four card set lot um, that featured uh, Peter Samedi's, um original character, King Cryptid. And so um, I said that if it got to a certain point, then I would color it up. And so this is the point where I'm at now, where I'm actually um, applying the coloring. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, I actually reached out to Pete and Pete um, gave me some pointers on the coloring for King Cryptid. And um, that's always great, you know. Um, it was cool kind of talking about um, our process and concepting artwork, character development and stuff like that. Uh, you know, it, it, it's so weird because when people ask me, I function from the mindset of a very sort of freestyling kind of approach you know um you know yeah i went to school and and there's fundamentals that i do that are sort of ingrained in me like i was taught fundamentals you know um layout composition um color theory that kind of thing those are the those are the foundations um but also i had another teacher i god i can't think of her last name i think her name first name was tina but she was a very free-spirited um she had a very free-spirited approach to her education where she kind of um was in that that frame of thinking that artists when they're creating stuff should be able to tap that kind of um the early stages like when you were a kid when you when you sort of didn't care about anything you know, there weren't any rules you just kind of just created stuff um she kind of when she would teach that or, or explain it that's something that I really locked on to. So when I'm drawing, there's almost this, this kind of sense of, yeah, there's the adult side of me that understands the rules and the found, and, and the fundamentals and things like that. But there's this also that other part of me that is a child um, where I like to have fun. I like to have fun with stuff. There's no rules and you should be able to do what, whatever you want to do and, and just create the coolest piece of artwork that you can. So there's that balance that I have with myself. So when I was trying to express that, hopefully people got that sense that, yeah, you know, I, I love that freestyle nature. It's almost like when I used to do, um, when I was working security, uh, put myself through school and those late, late nights, I'd be on the orange line in Boston and there'd be cats on the train, man, freestyling. I mean, freestyle rapping, you know, they're just coming off the top of their, you know, off their heads, just coming up with these beautiful um, lyrics and stuff like that. And just, you know, beatboxing. And I would, um, I always loved that. It was just like, you know, late night, long day, tired, and on the train, all of a sudden you got cats just letting it flow. And um, that that's, to me, that's what the art flow is all about. The art flow is about, you know, just just allowing yourself just to have fun with it. And, and, and everything doesn't have to be too crazy serious. So with that said, it's time to get down to some drawing. All right. Well, I see coloring, excuse me. So anyway, yeah, I was really excited. And I'm looking forward to the... Um, to the next uh, auction, which is gonna be on the 4th of December. And I'm gonna be dusting off, I'm gonna be looking for some of my older stuff. The stuff that's like the Mighty Mascot stuff. You know, it looks like people are interested in it. So I'm gonna pull it out 
So maybe that's this time around, I'm just gonna go for that. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know. You know, I say stuff right now and then all of a sudden the last minute I go, well, you know, with the new sketch cover in or whatever. I will say I really enjoyed uh, uh, coloring this character. I mean, uh, drawing this character, King Cryptid. It's a fun character and I do look forward, you know, once my, my chores on, um, or, or once I get to a place, like there's a, you know, there's always like a little pause, rest place or whatever in between when I'm working on Kajis and Cowboys that um, I can sort of slip in and jump on. Uh, you know, if Pete got something, got the story for me and stuff like that, I can jump on it. So I like what I did with Log, you know, the new Log story was something that Ski contacted me and it was just like, boom. I was like, yo, man, I okay, I can jump on this. You know, the good thing about me is that uh, with me is my approach to art is uh, I'm fast. You know. All right, let's see. All right, so here we go. I'm going to be pulling out the good old try and true. These are my Q-tips. Um, these are the special like finger ones and stuff. I found these. Um, I think there was, there was some dude selling them on Amazon or whatever. A big stash of them, and I kind of like them because they have the nice point. I used to when I was doing a lot of advertising work, even before like the computers came in when we do like dyes. I would uh, do a ton of these, use these for coloring, you know, for spot coloring on, you know, when we're for our layouts and stuff like that. So I'm very comfortable with them. There you go. It's a really cool character, huh? I like him, man. It's very stoic. I told, I told Pete, definitely, I'm going to have to step it up. Actually, uh, you know, because uh, I've been reading uh, Alpha Flight. And uh, John Byrne is just, I don't, you know, what do you say? I mean, John Byrne's work is just phenomenal. I mean, his level of like, you know, when you show characters using their powers and things like that, I mean, he just was all out, man. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say. What do you say to that? All right. So with this right here now, I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, P said that his cape is black. But I'm actually gonna add some blue in there and then I'm gonna build up on it. There you go. This is again, I'm using my Copic inks. Copic is a, it's a nice, nice brand. God, I, I can't even tell you the stories when I used to have to work with super toxic, um, very toxic uh, markers. Oh, and I mean, some of the areas weren't even that well ventilated. I used to have extreme headaches and stuff like that. Oh, I'm so glad that they've they they have they found something where it's not as toxic, <laughs> I guess suppose. <laughs> and, but and, but but the pigmentation is really strong. Another one was uh, Dr. Martin's were really popular back then, back in the '80s. They were really like you know you put those down, it was bright, nice bright colors, nice and strong. God, the blending on them were. Oh, that's the only thing. So I'm gonna add a little blue, cause then I'm gonna go back and it's almost, I'm gonna give it almost like a blue grayish, kinda, you know? I'll just mix it up a little bit. All right, let's see, what else do we got here? Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see, bada boom. It's gonna do like a nice dark sky back here. I'll just use the same, uh, let's see, dab it a little bit. And you get this nice, sky dark sky back here behind them and as i said before the um some pretty these are pretty um good sketch cards that pete got here you know i will say just to pat on our back our the, the ones that that we have for cottage and cowboys is they're a much more thicker stock the point on them is a lot more um much more thicker and stuff because there's i think these let me just do a little turn out there's going to be some bleed yeah see you definitely get some bleed on that. But overall, they do hold the ink and the, um, they hold it really well. You know, the only, the only con I would say is that if you got writing on the back, it's, it's pretty much gonna, you know, it's gonna look like a kaleidoscope when it's all done. Especially depending if you're like me, I'm gonna go in and sort of get that ink right into the, the paper and stuff like that. So you get these interesting um, colors. And, Hit that with a little blue in there and stuff. So anyway, you know, I just wanted to do a quick little video and, uh, you know, you know, 
sort of talk a little bit about the um, how great a, great a show that was this past weekend. And just to be grateful, thank you for those that came in and, and checked it out and, and you know, and, and, and they got some artwork, you know. I mean, I think that's always great, you know. People come in and they show up and the artwork is sold, you know. So we'll see. We'll see how the next one is, you know. All right. All right, so I'm looking at this. Pete says he has yellow eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Statler's. I'm going to go for a Statler pencil right here. And the pen. Sort of. I wish I was a little bit more brighter. Hmm. I'm gonna go for more fresh and kind of round the eyes a little bit, just enhance them. Just a little. It's always tricky, I would say. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more orange, I guess. Oh, it's always tricky with um, working on such a smaller size. Um, it is a challenge. You, you know, you sort of learn little tricks of the trade, little dabs here and there. The stuff that I've seen from some of my other peers and. Um, in uh, sketch cards, it's just, oh. I've seen people full out scenes, man. You, you sit there and you'd be like, it's almost like full out scenes, like like a poster. Full out scenes, like, you know, oh, how did, how did this get done? How did they do this? And that's just, that's just their skill. You know, they've become so good at just doing that. All right. So he has like a, he says like a warm gray fur. So I'm gonna go back and keep dabbling. But you know, you wanna, you wanna, leave some highlights in there you know some little white patches of white in there just to add in some highlights that's cool okay all right how's that looking then i'm gonna go back over with um here's a trick let's see okay. so i got some gray here now this is that trick i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to go over it again um over that blue and again this is the downside of when you get sketch cards that are they don't have that, that thicker and they're not that thick because now it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna really bleed through but you know i'm sure the person doesn't doesn't mind i know i don't i've had a couple of cards so you add a little bit of the you know not a little bit you add some of the, the cool gray in there and so it's dark so you still get some of that blue you get the blue but then it gets a little darker I don't know. Sometimes I'm, I'm always, I'm in that, that frame of mind of uh, the old school when they used to use, um, it wasn't always like solid black, like Batman, Batman and Neil, was it Neil Adams time? He was, uh, his, his, his cloak would be like blue, like they used blue as a way to kind of emphasize like dark or black. And I love that. So I'll go like that. Where we at? Okay, I'm yapping on and on and on. All right, we're at the 13 minute mark. So what I'm gonna do is, I like all my other videos, this is gonna be a mashup video. So it's me talking a little bit and then I'm gonna go over into hyperlapse. So just again, I just wanna thank everybody who came by, who, um, you know, who, who, who bid it and just brought the energy for that auction. And I look forward to seeing you again on um, December 4th. And to Matthew, I'm getting the job done for you, buddy. <laughs> All right. So take care. And as always, keep that art flowing.